But um, seems like they fixed. Bug up sword. Okay, I'll be in the middle of the game. I need to do a pick of that, see if it works. Anyway, uh, where are we? A while. Not been a while. It's been a month. Uh, a week. I only played this game like once a week. On the ice palace, Asia, old in his name. I, Josh, oh my God, blurry already. Quite annoying. You know, oh, photo focus. Even though it's like photo focus and then they won't auto focus. And Josh, I will, I will outshot you out and just. Hello, baby. Yeah, at the groundbreaker. Yes, I'm eating chicken. We reached HRS 1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Oh, How's your day today? Okay, uh, hold on. I'm gonna do this and uh, hopefully it fixes. Oh, finally. Okay, it, it does. It does fix the issue. Think there's a generator somewhere? It was pretty busy. Happy it's done with. Well, just today's okay. I'm getting a little. Tired. 
Not quite sure what I want to do. <coughs> oh, top water head for ya. Any any game you playing recently? I'm gonna try to switch game every two hours, if possible. I about two hours ish about games. I couldn't be, uh, dismantle those uh, things. Then my oh the movie. Oh yeah, it's be a movie. Are you gonna watch uh, either Open Timer or Barbie? Seriously, I'm so far from that. I believe I still got blasted. to contact you with urgent news. However, oh, yeah, the yeah, game functionality was impaired due to the power outage. Really curious about Alpha A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084s. There's no escape. I think not. The refueling system at Cascadia's landing pad logged your ship ID. You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can oh, yeah. of worms. But I saw the trailer and it's just like, oh, I want to watch it. Especially with... Uh... Christian Nolan, they, uh, he always make really good. Inadequate, son. They must pay you smugglers better than I thought. Really? Hmm. Call me intrigued. Let's act as if we never saw each other. Try and keep it that way, Captain. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. My dad used to say words have power. He proved them true. I need overpower. System.
Why is this uh, considered border invitation to peace? The way to shut down these uh, are. Really cute. Alright, let me do a quick shot while hiding here. If you don't know Chachi says, he's a wonderful reactor on YouTube. Video reactor. I should give him a sub. Crap, did I miss something? Oh my good lord. Rip. Oh, that's two dots. Wait, did I just uh get the code? Huh? Returning to normal protocols. Process sweep. Watch your step. Hey, here we go. Oh crap. Fourteen percent ish. What's my hack? No problem. My hack is forty. What? This. Eek, melee. Where's my hack outfit? Hack skill. Oh, pet. That's inspiration, right? Nation. Pick nice. Is that considered size? No, oh, stairs. No, oh, no, no. Oh, my God. I'm 
messed up. I keep thinking it's uh Oh well. The fudge? How did I get down there? Hard. Uh, I'm not supposed to open turn on the power, did I? Alright, where I where what was I? Here. Oh, it's not opening. Downstairs, up here, the door is not opening. Did I just deadlock myself? The show Silo. Yeah, I heard of it. I just don't have Apple TV. Plus. Who has X? Felix. And no, that's wait. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Still skill plus five and that. A science, right? Seven. PS5. Uh, 
There's something I can eat. But you don't accidentally put the stuff like that I don't want to use. Nice plus two. You know, TV and on PS5, you get six. Oh, really? Interesting. Good to know. Captain Hawthorne used to be more dashing. It's hackless. But I think they will ask you for your information too. I oh, and then make sure you sub unsubscribe before you actually get uh, have to pay for it. I found that very. Oh my lord. What? I didn't respawn. Is this what this is now? My hex sixty three. Oh my god. Is there a way for me to redo his uh board? So fucked. No blink. You know, I just pick up a blank one. Electrical control room. We've got 
Hey, Gelden, how you doing? I just had to jump through that. A weekend? It's going alright. It's hot, so I have to turn on some sort of a level of AC right now. I do not turn on any AC. Getting me. System. Here they come! Oh. And I is like four ninety four. Yeah. The, uh, also, the problem is not also heat. It's also the humidity. Humidity, if it's too high, it gets very stuffy. Charlie player games Sublight will be well pleased that you've claimed the station for them. But don't. I'll be fine leaving this place. Sure friend. Sounds awfully familiar. That was the scientist from Cascadia, right? Yeah. Here they come! Oh, I'm running. Processing sweeping area. I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't want to decrease any more uh, reputation. It's interesting, like it's hot now. I just want to drink like cold stuff, and it's interesting also because I don't want to drink anything sugary, like I mean, like sugar drink. Um, I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave cereal. Oh, where are they talking? Why are they discussing that cold stuff? Oh my gosh, Felix, you got to hear this. You remember that spin off series about the mass marketeer? Halcyon Helen's coming on for us to romance arc. Ah! What if they hold hands? This I gotta see. Thanks. Wow, that's all they talk about. Uh... Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. I am feeling discombobulated. Was He's there another topic on your mind? What are you talking about? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. Uh. He asked me to trust him. 
Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by redacted on the date of redacted for the express purpose of redacted. I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once, Alex did not build me and would not say who did. Oh, wow. Mysterious. You going to any of the three? We've arrived at the groundbreaker. I mentioned it, but then we uh, the tickets are sold out, so are we not going any of those three? What channel? I wanted to go at least one of those. We just had to wait then. And Barbie actually was showing in a Dolby theater. I rather to be Oppenheimer. It make more sense with Oppenheimer. Open time is three hours? Oh shit. Yeah. Little <laughs> Idiots. I know. Right? Exactly. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Why would they leave an asset like that unprotected? Unless... Could the station be a trap? Unlikely. But possibly... One more thing to consider. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Maybe the worst. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that open for me, you Captain? Say. You call that an open mind? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Here goes. That's as open mind as possible. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I'm saying it's aliens. 
I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Captain, in my humble assessment, Miss Hagen is insane. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible yeah, conclusion I like China. looking back at me. I watch it this like is my time, data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Tobias, get my knife. The big one. That was a joke. Ha ha. We each get one. Now, back to business. <laughs> Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want, a promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 10. Well, you saw what she did to her team. What's older? Um. Uh... Oh, you didn't include Dark Knight Rises. Um. I would say. That's what you like the most in the in that order. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Yeah, Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. I would say because I like time travel stuff, and yeah, I would put a uh, Canon and Interstellar in the same level. And Inception and uh, Momento will be up the same level. Dunkirk, it's okay. The Prestige, it's not bad. Though those I will probably the last, and then you know Dark, Dark Knight is better than Dark, uh, Batman Begins, or are they the same level? Uh, yeah, I think Dark Knight is better than Batman Begins. Batman Last. Dunker and the Prestige is... I think Prestige is better than I don't really remember much of Dunker actually. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember. The tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. 
You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. I watched like, uh, Dark Knight, uh, like, I mean, Inception, I don't know. Don't worry, really watch that re rain. I just was thinking it would be really good, like, if you are still, like, you look your early 30s, or look your 40s, 50s, you are like. Hundred some years old compared to other people. I, I feel like that's kind of crazy. I just like time, time stuff. Time stuff. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thanks. Uh, back to Monarch. Adia. Look at the Stella Bakers. We're now in orbit of us. A4. Stellar Bay, Captain. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle one. Oh, I'll choose this for the Get to the whatever that place is. Loading is. Oh, my God. I don't know why I keep thinking Hey, Mr. Vicar Do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? Can't say I miss the stink or much about Edgewater if I'm being true But I'll always be grateful I lived there For it's where I met you and our captain Real sweet, Mr. Vicker. Suspiciously so. Wow. What a sus. Very sus. Is one healthy if they are well adjusted to a sick society?
done. We're still alive. What do you mean we're still alive? We're still alive. Uh, you have no faith in your captain to keep you alive? No faith in your cat. Oh my god, come on. How close do I have to be to the open to tell me shit? Rude and rude and rude. So, you can go over there. Back. Oh my god, who's attacking me? So many reptiles scared the shit out of me. Hey, well, got a fight on our hands. So many, uh, so much, uh, come on. inspection. So many lightning knock you out like some sort of drug. Heavy ammo. Loading less access document. Accepted review on Darn and D. In trio, Parton and Arrows. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. 
Gotta play it on PC. Yes. Uh, get away! Oh, thank you. I'm Huxley. Uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a man got back to Papa and his kid. Was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Rude! <laughs> I'll have you know, I can go for whole days without a snack. I'll be here if you change your mind, on account of I can't do anything else. Oh my god, the building key. Where is the building key? Um, where's the building key? Bunch of money, but no keys. The shit is... Phew, 
thank you so <laughs> much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? I wonder if there's any quest with her. You know, bye. Incoming. More bits for me. Oh, they heard us, that's why. I hope I don't lose too many uh reputation with them, yeah. Uh yo. Filter, spaces choice. Huh? Four percent, it's okay. I can deal with four percent. I'm here, might as well go up. Fucking god! Where are they coming from? Oh, fuck me. Oh my fucker. Oh my goodness. How rude. How rude. I merely opened fire for like three seconds and every single one of them just swam right out of it. Hope you're here to help. We only got so many bullets left, and I ain't keen on using one on you. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But, we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out, and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Ah, uh, that's fun, Gate. Boys up there, so, uh.
Talk to me. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead. Let's go. So many stars, holy crap. Unlimited looting. Any luck out there? Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Printing press. Terra what? Application. Uh, oh, pick up so many weapons. No. This is Hammersmith. The long gun. Yeah, okay, light. Nice light. Here we go. That Chief Junlei sure seems well, huh? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Yeah, but... I got a good feeling about him, is all. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. You might surprise yourself. Uh, lock picking is low. Oh shit, I'm wearing a different armor. Where's my lock pick uh, armor? Ah. Go! 
We are victorious. Yes, we are victorious. Who may concern? Ken Hayden. Okay, gone quiet. Money around, flying around. Painting press. Shut up their hands. So pick me up. I would even fire that. Terry's birthday. I was like, terrible birthday. What the fuck? Why would it be a terrible birthday? But I can fast travel from this location. Fudge. Arena time. Arena. 
Ain't a time. It is endlessly fascinating to me that all of existence is simply atoms, molecules, and chemical reactions, which in turn create and govern our bodies, minds, and emotions. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! Aye. We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the Tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Come by to the clinic. Is this the clinic? Where the fuck are you? Oh, excuse me, you asked me to. Oh, yeah, fine. I'm gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Come on, move faster. I'm getting. I'm trying to talk to you. Slowpoke. Come on. Got back to the clinic. Come on. Stop one time. Wow, she got glitched. Got glitched. What? Sorry. Long day. She got glitched. Okay. Excuse me? I've seen you limping a bit. You all. You didn't seem too much like traveling with us before you met that hermit fellow. Yes. I was kind of an ass, wasn't I? Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? A fella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out of town? You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. 
One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. It's uh, mostly corrupted, but I put a couple codes out of it. One of these is the Ember High Gate. I don't recognize the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? I don't care what about. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now, especially if this ends up being a dead end. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Right, the access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. I appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. Why is there so many side quests? This game is out of control. I'm like, I couldn't even. Get one thing done until I, I, I trigger the other one and keep doing quest, quest, quest. <laughs> I, uh... How are you feeling, Mr. Vicar? After your, uh, hallucinations. Fantastic. But it must be said that the sensation of myself as a separate mind inside a bag of skin was the real hallucination. Uh, wow. Wow, indeed. It's quite liberating to realize that one is simply an aperture through which the universe experiences itself, and that all my pain and suffering was of my own creation. So if Felix snuck into your quarters one night and stole half your underwear and filled the other half with itching powder, you'd kindly thank the universe and take it in stride? <laughs> Not wow. that I'm asking for any particular reason. Wow, that's just rude. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Corporate espionage. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Your best delivery yet, sir. Celia? Already noted for your review, sir. 
I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Is it really illegal if the board's the one that makes the rules in the first place? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Already? <laughs> if only the rest of the colony operated as efficiently as you. Imagine what a different state we'd be in, hmm? I'll complete the Bolt 52 in no time. I dare say it'll be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. What's gonna happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well, by that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but it seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. Yeah. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. No, I am a company man. In charge of a scrap heap of a city, abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Okay, the last fight and kill. That's young. There's Ush. Ushi. Might I ask how you are faring, Ms. Holcomb? I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. You don't need to keep up appearances. You're among friends. We would never leave you behind. Sound exactly like the person will lead people. And where is that relay station? Alright, let me teleport over there. And uh, I... Well, I actually be right back. Though. And sure... Earlier I clicked the... Uh, too early, so that's why I didn't register. So now I'm gonna do this, 
and I'll be right back. I'll be like 10 minutes. I just turned off the AC for a little bit. Good enough for me. Alright, probably another hour of this game. Need repair. Use that. Oh, what's this weapon? Saw of shotgun. Maybe I should use this one instead. Hundred something. Shotgun. That's the last of them. Actually, saw a shotgun pretty powerful. Didn't realize that. I don't want phobia. myself this range weapon skill plus five that's only long gun the attack plus 10 damage that might be a good idea 
Can I do a sniper? I can deal 10 uh 10% damage. Impressive as always. Ten percent damage action. Zara, return to Zara. Where's Zara? The fuck are you? Archer man, answer. Can I give me a straight answer? And you're gay. Were you really in jail, Mr. Max? And you were our vicar? Yes. Technically, I was assigned there as a vicar, but... For all intents and purposes, I was a prisoner. I hid the truth behind semantics and denial. I hope you can forgive my deception. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, of course. It was only ever the lion that bothered me. We all made our mistakes. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain, he gave them the gate codes. Watch it. That's our leader you're talking about. My friend. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Oh, you need time to figure something out? Akin. They don't deserve. Alright, where is that dispensary though? Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. 
Who's your lucky friend, dearie? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Isn't it just... I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you flattering old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. I'll get you a dose, but I'll have you know, I'm very disappointed in you. There, and good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail Edwards. I have nothing more to say to you, young man. I have nothing more to say to you, young man. Wait, isn't there a storage room? Oh, no one's attacking me. The reason why I keep saving because I don't want the whole town turn on me. Got it. Here we go. Ah, uh, two percent. It's fine. Oh, good. I don't
<laughs> the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it in. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes, we're in business. Let's go. Great, where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Welcome to the Unreliable Crew. We're eminently more dependable than our name might suggest. A ship? Well, look at you. I'll find a spot there to call my own for now. Find me when you're ready. All right, where are we now? Okay, the faction quest. Let's do that faction quest first. Guess I need to get back on my ship. Uh. Oh yeah, movie night. We haven't discussed what we watched tonight though. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. You ain't making a lick of sense, Max. Of course I got a self. I'm me, Felix Millstone. No, that is just a story you've been building for yourself from a very young age. There, see? You just said yourself. Your self. I guess I got a self after all. Checkmate, preacher. Semantics and nothing more. The construction of our language assumes the existence of a self. Whoa, 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 slow down. What's this about construction work? Our language has all manner of paradoxes contained within it. Tell me, what happens to your lap when you stand up? What are you talking about? Max, you've been acting real funny ever since you and that hermit sniffed all them drugs. Maybe you ought to ask Ellie to take a look at your head. We gotta talk about this. I can't believe I wanted to shake his hand. I need a shower. Makes you wonder if being a treacherous, two-timing coward is some sort of contagious disease, or if he was just born that way. At first, I liked what Graham was doing. The iconoclasts were gonna change Halcyon for the better. But then, we found out Graham was behind the slaughter of Amber Heights. How can anybody so morally bankrupt lead a movement to transform the colony? Yeah, maybe you're right. You'd never do something like that, would you? Slaughter a whole community of innocents? I 
I'm sure Graham told himself the same thing. He wasn't the one who held the gun and pulled the trigger. All he did was turn a key. The thing is, that's all it takes. Sometimes the difference between right and wrong is turning a key, or looking the other way, or keeping your mouth shut when you ought to speak up. Let's get back to it. I need to put all this ugly business with Graham behind me. As always, I am at your disposal. Anything you'd like to discuss? Wait a second, then how do I find this person? Yeah, live machine gun. That's crazy. Do we find it at home is um on oh, no, the door? Where is that place? We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. What is that place? <laughs> we are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Wait, where is that place though?
gracious. I was just sitting down. Want a charming cop? What? 10% surge up? What do you do? What? Amazing! I didn't think those things worked. Mostly people draw funny faces on them. An apprehension of this caliber would be tremendous for my career. I would send you straight away to my superiors in Byzantium, but... Just a teensy one, the teensiest. Nothing to, uh, lie awake worrying about for nights on end or anything. <laughs> the thing is, I needed money. A lot of money, quickly, for reasons. I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you'll need to get my seal back from her if you want to hand Phineas over to the board. That's really neither here nor there, don't you think? I've... I've been working on something on the side, all right? Something not entirely, uh, on the level. It's a little silly, I'll admit. Silly and completely illegal. <laughs> I'd be forced into early retirement if the board found out. I produce bootleg cereals. I just... I can't help myself. Juris and Prudence after hours, or all my colonists, the new immortals, romance, tragedy, debt collection. And they're all mine. Flatterer. I might have pawned my official board seal to Gladys, the black market fence here on the Groundbreaker. I can't authorize the paperwork you'll need to turn Phineas in without it. It's only temporary, of course. I'd never leave something so important in the hands of someone of such a dubious moral character. I was going to buy it back once I raised the capital. So you... That's the long and short of it, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm certain Gladys can be made... Well, can probably be made to see reason. <laughs> I'll be waiting eagerly for your return. Now, is there any way in which I might assist you? That's how it is, huh? You just sell somebody out to the board without a second thought? Somehow, I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. I'm just trying to access the place. I don't really want to sell him. 
If you're here for this week's ma- Depends. What are you planning to do with it? See the lights. Taking a show or two at the infamous Bijou. Could be a treat if you like that kind of thing. All right, I'll sell it to you. But it's gonna cost you dear. Well, ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Anytime, sweetheart. I have a feeling once I get there, I'll have to... How do you do? Oh my law. You've done it. You've saved my hide. I can't thank you enough. Now then, uh, let me see. I just have to apply the seal here, sign like so, and... Ta-da! <laughs> here are the forms you'll need once you reach Byzantium. Oh, and a nav key so your ship can travel there. Those authorization forms will let you speak with Sophia when you arrive. I'll send her a message straight away to let her know you're coming. She'll be delighted, I'm sure. This guy's acting like he's on a first-name basis with Sophia Akande. She's the chairman's right hand? Yes, quite. Miss Akande is just the person to take someone with your particular talent and sterling character under her wing. She can fill you in on all of the board's operations in the colony and really put your talents to use. Best of luck to you, and thank you again. Give my regards to the unreliable. Can't wait to see what nonsense people waste their bits on. Okay, these are main quests. In the capital. Byzantium, the city of snobby elitists and punchable faces. All right, let me do this one quest first. I think that's about two hours, but let me just do this one thing. One quest. And I will switch game. I don't know which game we're gonna be playing though. Something new or something that should be played? Well, I played before. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Where's the broker? Captain, let's talk. Hey, got a favor to ask you. 
Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Uh, we are... Oh, these are either replenish. Guess I don't have to worry about picking them all up because they respawn anyway. Rats. Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Right. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. 
If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Okay, so I need to go talk to Hiram. Right? That's where the uh, thing is. I oh, feel like a long quest. Uh, I guess I'll reach the, uh... the caves back east are safest. We can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on the way up. Try another weapon. this mountain you can see so much from here so many beasts would need killing so many drinks would need drinking step easy boss we got a real climb ahead of us jackass is incoming I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. What's up? Oh my god, how'd I get up there? Oh, I took the wrong turn. Didn't I? The bridge. Oh, you see that message, by the way. Yeah. I was Apex, by the way. <laughs> you say thanks for everyone came out today so good thing i got my hiking boots on they're actually the same as my ass kicking boots i can't afford another pair it is a trek isn't it almost like we don't have working lifts or roads people are leaving 
So just as soon as they die, they just left. Well, technically, if they are just, you know, playing random games, if it's not going well, they... Watch out! Felix. I gotta be right by the dinner. No, before before the game even started. Oh, they left. Oh, that's rude. I right, have enjoy your dinner. on a place called Devil's Peak, you might be some type of serial villain. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Because <laughs> me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. Is that a trick question? Never mind. Marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. That's good, mm -hmm. I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Need something? Talk to Joy. And for the love of space, don't rile the marauders. Alright, this one just went much more complicated. That's why I'll save right here. 